Welcome back. So I got some huge Madden Mobile 24 updates for you guys for the upcoming month of April and May. And I just want to say this, I got some bad news and some good news. So let's start off by going over the bad news, I guess, right? Uh, which is there is no Sugar Rush Step Up Packs, guys, which I feel like you should have known, knowing that it's almost the end of the promo and we haven't seen any yet. But it was said that there will not be any Sugar Rush Step Up Packs for the Sugar Rush promo, which is a bummer, you know? You would honestly expect to save up mana cash, put in the mana cash, knowing it's a holiday promo, to get extra epics and chances at iconics throughout the store to benefit your grind a little bit. But maybe because we have Easter eggs, they're not doing that. Even though they just said that don't expect much from the eggs. I see a lot of you guys saying that the Sugar Rush promo is not that great of a promo. And knowing that we're getting no step of packs and to not expect much from the eggs just makes it even worse. The best thing we're probably going to get is obviously that guaranteed epic. And if you do get that chance of an iconic. And obviously you'll get the rewards to put into the players. It's just extra stuff. EA is giving everybody the Easter eggs, obviously, which means that you shouldn't really expect much from it, knowing that everybody will get the same exact thing. So that's what they're kind of putting out there. And obviously in past years of Madden Mobile, we built the eggs, you know? We didn't just get the eggs handed over to us. We built the eggs or had to build the players. You either picked one or the other. And obviously you shouldn't really expect much from getting something handed to you guaranteed. That is... uh kind of wrapped away okay here's a good example think about the christmas present rewards were they even that good let's move on the next thing is actually a good thing guys which is the next player drop which is going to be revealed to you guys right now this will be coming into the game tomorrow at 10 30 a.m eastern and your players are linebacker terrell dotson middle linebacker alex smith and we got wide receiver steve smith sir that is your three players coming into the game tomorrow and we got some more good news to put on top of that which that is not gonna be your last drop but it will be your last three player drop but it won't be the last player drop of the promo we will be getting one more player on easter day which is the 31st at 10 30 a.m eastern and we should be getting a reveal on the 30th which is always the day before as per usual so look forward to that it was said that they should be the same overall but it could change so that Easter day player or Easter day master, as I should say, because it's only one player could have a different overall to all the other sugar rush players. So that is something to look forward to, I guess. So get ready for that. April content, guys, we're going to be seeing two promos. We are going to be seeing a field pass. That field pass will tell us the two promos of that month because the Marvels that come out say that they need certain players for that player obviously we already got notified that one of the promos of that month knowing that we have the draft in april is uh going to be draft so one of the promos of april will be draft the draft is the 25th so it should be the second promo we'll have to wait and find out obviously we'll find out when the fuel pass drops for april and knowing about the fuel passes we can kind of do some more predictions upcoming if you guys go to albums go to 10th anniversary players you will see that we have the fletcher cox iconic which is our seventh 10th anniversary player and that we get one more which is the eighth so knowing that we only have one more 10th anniversary player and you know that lands in april for the april field pass that this only means one thing right this will be our last 10th anniversary player which is known right and you know knowing how to get a 10th anniversary player you will need three collectibles one collectible from that month's fuel pass and the two promos which makes three obviously the two promos collectibles and the fuel pass milestones collectible put those three in to get your iconic and you get your 10th anniversary player now knowing that this will be our last one we can kind of predict that ea will throw in some end game cards right i'm trying to lead into like the next uh, topic, which is the last thing I have on the list of updates. It was hinted to us that we have to wait two weeks for this certain thing. But then it was hinted to us that we had to wait another two weeks. So two plus two, if the math is correct, is four. 
So that's four weeks. Let me get into this. Four weeks is about a month. And yeah, end game is usually Madden Max. We should be seeing Madden Max around the start of May, guys. And it makes sense because the start of May is a new field pass, new promos. April is draft and another promo and a field pass with a 10th anniversary player in it. May is a field pass without a 10th anniversary player in it. And it doesn't matter if EA does three promos in May, you know, because there's no 10th anniversary player. There's no collectible needed. Now, I do not know what EA has up their sleeves. I have no clue on how it's going to work. Obviously, because I don't work for EA, guys. But I will be making a separate video on how I think the Madden Max players will work. So stay tuned for that, guys. I really have a good explanation on how it could be how we did it last year. So stay tuned for that, guys. I actually can't wait, too, because honestly, you know, I don't know the day of the reveal. I don't know the day of when we'll get it. We could get the reveal in April and get Madden Max in May. We could get the reveal in May and get Madden Max in May. As you guys should know, April is almost here. You know, Easter's the 31st, and then the next month is April, and new field pass, new promos. And then when April's over, Madden and Max, and then, you know, June, July, August, the game ends in August. It's crazy that we'll have like three months and a couple weeks with Madden Max cards, and then that's it. Can't believe the time went that fast with Madden Mobile 24, you know, uploading videos every single day about this game. Goes by really fast, I guess you could say. You know, the days go on and on and on. I'm always looking forward to the next to next uh, thing, which is uh, per the usual. I wonder if we're going to put in all these 10th anniversary cards for like a Grandmaster 10th anniversary player. I honestly think that would make the most sense, knowing that these players were very rare. They never were in the updated iconic packs and you would always have to if you didn't miss a collectible have to buy one for like ten dollars something like that which i was oh, in the store right now actually uh feature it was in the store i swear a couple days ago oh wait right there free agency look at that one collectible is ten dollars if you missed it it's ten dollars for one collectible it's very rare for these players guys so i feel like they're going to be doing something big Knowing that you have to, if you didn't miss a collectible, spend $10 on one. It just makes sense. There's no way. There's no way EA is going to make you spend that much on a collectible. And then there's nothing to do with the players at the end. And my game's probably going to crash. But that's fine because that's the end of the video. And I hope you guys did enjoy. That is going to do it. That is all of your updates upcoming for April into May. We got some good stuff upcoming because, you know, the end of Madden Mobile is usually where the game really dies down. Uh, obviously. You know when Madden Max drops and all that, but we're gonna make the most out of it. Hopefully, right? We're gonna enjoy the couple promos we have. There we go. Look at that. Hopefully, you did enjoy the updates, and uh, that's gonna do it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.